We have new developments in our investigation into toxic drinking water at a Marine Corps base in North Carolina. Nearly two dozen veterans came forward after our story last month about sick children at Camp Lejeune. The veterans describe a broken VA claim system. CBS News found cases where the VA agreed illnesses were more likely than not to be connected to the base's contaminated water, but only after it was too late. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge has been following this story and joins us from the Pentagon. Catherine, good morning. Good morning, Nate. To evaluate these claims, the VA uses so-called subject matter experts. Our CBS News investigative team found doctors who lacked expertise in relevant medical fields and veterans who spent years in the appeals process. About a year after he got out of the Marines, he started having problems with his balance, stumbling, uh, and then he lost his hearing. Patty Metzler is talking about her father, Dave. In the late 1950s, he spent 34 months at Camp Lejeune, a Marine base in North Carolina. On a driving tour of North Jackson, Ohio. All right, we're coming up on the prison that I work at. Patty, a nurse practitioner, showed us where her dad once worked as a machine repairman. So this is the GM plant here. Until he got too sick. Patty says his failing health became a liability. And I know that depressed him because he, he went through a phase where he felt like I'm no longer the person to support my family. The U.S. government acknowledges that from 1953 to 1987, nearly a million veterans and civilians who lived at Camp Lejeune were potentially exposed to dangerous chemicals in the drinking water. In some areas, it was 400 times what safety standards allowed. There's a lot of pictures here. Dave filed a claim with the VA to connect his neurological problems to his service at Camp Lejeune. If approved, the Metzlers would receive much needed financial support. He was denied in 2014 and again in 2015. He did get depressed. He got angry and um, he did attempt suicide once. Fed up, Patty did her own research and got his case in front of a VA judge, then waited. Based on your experience, is the VA system working? No, not at all. Um, it's completely failing veterans. Mike Wishney runs the Veterans Legal Services Clinic at Yale Law School. His students filed a lawsuit in 2016 on behalf of Camp Lejeune veterans, seeking more information about the doctors who review Camp Lejeune claims. They're known as subject matter experts, or SMEs. Not all of them appeared to have the qualifications for the job they were doing. CBS News reviewed VA records and in some cases found general medicine doctors not experts. But after they started this program, the approval rate, which was already low, went even lower. According to government transcripts and documents obtained by CBS News, the rate plummeted from 25 to 5 percent. The saying is deny, deny, deny until they die. <laughs> Retired Lieutenant Colonel Mark Kottenauer, a lifelong aviator, is two years into his own battle with the VA to connect his pancreatic and prostate cancers with his service at Camp Lejeune. How many doctors have blamed your cancer on the contaminated water at Camp Lejeune? Seven. Seven doctors. Still, the VA denied Kottenauer's claim on the basis that their subject matter expert was more persuasive. Why would the VA side with a general medicine expert over a group of cancer specialists? They don't want to step up and do the right thing. Kottenauer is appealing and says it's not about the money. The Marine Corps and the VA needs to be accountable to the Marines and the sailors and all those people at Lejeune, mm -hmm. and they haven't been. Are you expecting a decision from the VA in your lifetime? You know, my appeal now is 18 months old. I, I'm, I'm hoping to hear, you know, before in my lifetime, but there's no guarantee. Look, in Dave Metzler's <laughs> claim, the subject matter expert specialized in preventive here. medicine. The subject matter expert that looked at his case knew nothing about neurology. In 2018, a VA judge overruled the earlier denials. On her dining room wall hangs the framed VA approval letter, granting her dad 100 percent disability. But Dave never lived to see this victory. He died 14 months earlier. About a week prior to his death, he was still lucid and talking, and I had some time alone with him. And he gave me a hug and said, don't give up. Keep fighting. I promised him I would. 
Dave Messler's widow is receiving survivor's benefits, but the family is still fighting the VA over back pay. In a statement to CBS News, the VA says it's committed to the processing of all claims to ensure priority veterans are served as timely and accurately as possible. They also told us the doctors in these cases had, quote, appropriate credentials and received four hours of training on issues relevant to the evaluations. And while the VA acknowledges the average approval rate is now 17 percent, their own data shows that the approval rate dropped dramatically once they started using these experts, and more than half of the outstanding claims are now considered backlog. Michelle? An important report. Thank you for your report on Catherine. Uh, I just, it's hard to look at this and, and not think of how we respect our veterans mm. in public. And then to see them ask for help, medical help, yeah. for time served, and not get it. Those who proudly serve this country, and for him to say, it's deny, deny, deny until, until we die. die. That's yeah. heartbreaking. You're doing something wrong if you're leaving that impression in the minds of the people you're supposed to be taking care of. Yeah.